Hi everyone and welcome back to another snack size video in UE4. Today's topic is the get forward vector node. What it is, how it can be used and why does it exist? What is the point of it? So let's go into our first person characters blueprint here. And for this purposes, I'm going to mess about with the uh, tick. So let's create a tick event. And in the tick event, I'm going to get the actor's rotation. And then plug that into a get forward vector. So what is a get forward vector? A get forward vector requires an in rotation and it outputs a vector. Before you go any further, you should really understand what a vector is. A vector is a, a, a three floating point number. So it has three floats, uh, one for X, Y, and Z. And by using those three values, it can determine a direction as well as a speed as well. However, it's important to note the get forward vector, as well as other gets as well, will output a normalized uh, vector. A normalized vector is a value between zero and one in each of the three floating points. So a forward vector is a direction stipulated by a vector. What's the difference between a vector and a rotation? A rotation handles the orientation of, some, uh, of another actor or something inside the world. That orientation doesn't give you a direction that it's facing though. To get the direction it's facing, you have to turn it into a vector. And that's where this get forward vector comes in. So here we're taking the input, input of the get actor rotation. So the current player's rotation, and we're finding out the forward vector. And the forward vector calculates it by looking at the forward axis. And in UE4, the forward axis is the X axis. So this X direction, which way this is facing currently, is the forward vector. So important thing to remember that X equals forwards. So let's print string this and you'll see what I mean by the normalized vector. So here you can see I'm facing straight ahead in the X value. But as I turn, notice how the values change. And remember, they are normalized, so they go between 0 and 1. That also includes negative values, but it's always between negative 1 and positive 1. So x, 1 there. Opposite x is minus 1. So I can pivot around like so and get the various values. Now notice how the Z value isn't changing. Why is that? Well, our actor isn't the arms. The actor is the capsule component part of the uh, character. So the capsule is just sliding around on the floor. It's the arms that are giving the illusion of looking up and down. We haven't told it to use the arms as the forward vector. So technically it's using the, the capsule component, not the arms. But what if we wanted to get which way the gun was facing or the camera was facing? Well, we can do that. Instead of getting the actor's rotation, we want to get the rotation of a particular component. That component is the camera. So let's drag the camera component out. And then let's get the world rotation of that component. And then plug that into the get forward vector. Now you'll notice how the Z value will change. That's because our rotation of our camera is changing. And we use the get forward vector for all sorts of things. So we use it for movement, we use it for um, uh, line tracing, uh, shooting, all these sorts of things that are quite pivotal to most games. Now there's also important to note, there's also a get right vector as well. So rather than get forward, you can do a get right. And this gets you the direction immediately to the right of the uh, rotation that you've provided here. So rather than going straight ahead, it's getting the basically a, a direction to the right of the player. So which way is their right side pointing towards? And as you can see, the Y is the one with the one value. And as I turn around, you'll notice the Y value changes to negative one when I turn around completely. 
So you can use these two nodes to get the direction of key points inside the game. There is no get left vector and there's no get uh, backwards vector because they are using the same thing, just inverted. So if you want to get the left hand vector rather than the get right vector, just times it by negative one. And similarly, if you want to get the backwards vector, just times it by negative one as well. And now it'll inverse those vectors, make it flip them the other way around. And there you have it. That's the get forward and the get right vector. If you like these videos and you want to learn more, head over to patreon.com forward slash Ryan Ailey, where a donation of just $1 will get access to many of my videos, access to Discord, and many other benefits too. Big thank you to all my patrons for their continued support. If you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And if you have any requests for me to make videos on, please leave a comment below. Thanks again, everyone, and I'll see you all next time. Bye bye.